Hello, so today I'm going to review these fixtures over here, which are the Aquamedic Angels. I think these are probably the most under the radar lighting fixtures that there are for reef tanks nowadays. And I can't understand why. Although I think that there aren't perfect lights for reefs yet, although there is the technology available, but somehow, um, in my point of view, the manufacturers are simply missing the mark. Um, these lights get pretty close to being what I would consider a, a perfect light. They have some faults, of course, but uh, when I was searching for fixtures for this tank, these were the best ones I could find. Of course, you can say that they are very similar to um, the Kessel AP700 um, and there are really similarities, uh, namely when you see the kind of the same technology of the densely packed LEDs, but then they are different in other ways and not just technically, but also on the result you can see in the tank. Uh, the first thing you can notice, of course, is, is that they have a bit more. They have um, diffuse lighting incorporated. And one thing that I wish is that this diffuse lighting component um, could have been stronger. Because you can see they have um, a bar in the middle that is 5 watts. And they also have these uh, circles around the main lenses that um, also, I'm not sure how many watts do they have. The thing is that you can find this light both in Asia, Europe and uh, in the United States, in America. And um, they are different um, in each of these places. Because I think the original light was uh, an Asian light uh, manufactured probably in China, I think. Uh, aren't they all? Almost all. <laughs> Um, which um, was called Kello, which was available much before it was available in Europe or the United States. When it arrived, both in Europe and the United States, it changed name, it was rebranded. So these two are Aquamedic in Europe. And in the America, you have the Sea Ray. What they did in terms of customization was um, really impactful. It completely changes the light and the way you use it. To start with, the lenses. In Europe, these lenses are 90 degrees. In the USA, they are 120. So these are much more focused light beams. Um, which do I think I prefer? Well, I must say I prefer it as they are now. Uh, why? Because you have the diffuse lighting component to soften a bit the blow from the two um, LED, main LED sources on each side, which is very focused light, very strong, that creates a very strong shimmer. And I think they chose the 120 degrees in America, um, mainly to uh, even out more the, the power distribu distribution across the tank. And I'm guessing, I never tested the American ones, but I'm guessing it must work well for that effect. Uh, in a way, I prefer it that way, because you have much less light bleed outside the tank, because the light is much more focused. And on the other hand, the harshness of the light, of the point light, is softened by the three diffuse lighting sources um, in the fixture which are the bar in the middle and the two circles around. Um, another thing that is very different in the American approach to the European approach is the color spectrum and the color distribution of the LEDs. You have, in Europe, these rings and the middle bar the same color, royal blue. In America, the middle bar is a kind of warm white which i think it will would look nice for sunrises and sunsets i think it would give a very diffuse lighting which i think it would would look um, fine on the other hand i think once again in europe they took a different approach that i 
honestly prefer, which is it's much more closer to the simulation you can see, not the simulation, the real thing you can see outside, which is you have diffuse lighting coming from the sky dome, the sky is blue, and you have a direct point light, which is uh, the sun when it arrives at Earth, it's very hard, it's a hard light. So, what they did here, they, of course, the diffuse lighting is all blue and the focused light is all white. Well, white, no, because uh, you have um, lots of different colors. I won't get into detail into what the colors are available because nowadays um, I think almost every, uh, every light, common light available for reef tanks can grow corals. And these, of course, are no exceptions. Um, I did notice, for example, that my uh, magnificent anemone um, prefers to be a bit leaned towards the window where it receives ambient light when the light is not strong enough coming from the, the fixture. Um, so, one of the things that I really like about these lights also is their design. Um, I'm not crazy about the design of their closest competitor, competitors, which are the Castle's AP700. They are too boxy for my liking. But uh, this design is um, much more pleasant to look at, not just because of the rings about the, um, around the main LEDs and the bar in the middle. The rings, I think, I guess, are the, the reason they call it Angel, because it has some some kind of halo around the lights, but uh, everything is curved. Um, I think it's a much, um, much more appealing design to have over a tank. Um, one of the things uh, I really don't like about these lights, and I think I wouldn't like um, about other lights because I was uh, very used before these lights to having max specs, you have one here in the middle. The max specs razors um, are still, I think, um, a great, great light because the passive cooling of the light is great. Um, and so you really have to reach a high temperature for the active uh, cooling to kick in. So, uh, I rarely hear the fans of the Razer. And when I hear the fans of the, the Razer, they are very silent. Not so with, the, um, with these lights. These lights have very audible fans. And I think it's possibly a problem with design. Maybe uh, the fan grids could have been larger. I'm not sure I audit, but I'm sure that could have been easily fixed. The light comes in through the top and comes uh, out through the sides. Uh, this one, of, of, if, and you can compare, this has 180 watts, this razor. This has 200, so not much more. This can run mostly on passive cooling from the wings of the max spec. These really need active cooling or they would blow up because they generate a great deal of heat from the sides. Um, the power supplies are of uh, top quality, they are very good, very reliable ones. These are not cheap lights by any means, their cost uh, is probably, um, at least here in Europe, um, comparable to the, Castle, um, to the Castle AP700. Um, so here in Europe they vary between 800 and 1000 uh, euros. And um, what can I say more about these lights? I'm very happy with them because I've been using them for over one year. This tank is a little over five months old, but I got them much earlier, the two of them. Uh, and I used them on my previous tank. Um, the app that controls them is uh, very, very good. It has very minor defects, many minor faults. Um, which uh, really are barely worth um, mentioning. For example, when you are creating schedules, um, if you turn on a moonlight 
it's very difficult to remove the moonlight feature from the, the programming. Uh, what normally I, I have to do is to um, simply erase the program and start the program again and not include the, the moonlight. And um, of course, there's one thing speaking about moonlight that I don't like in this feature, but I also don't like in any feature I know, which is the moonlight, for two reasons. The moonlight is still uh, too strong for my taste and too blue for my taste. When I look outside uh, at the light that the moon casts, it's not blue. Even if I am in the ocean, in the water, uh, it's not this blue. Uh, so I would like to have the possibility of controlling the, the color spectrum of the of the moonlight, which I, I believe it isn't possible in any fixture I know in, a, in an amount that is usable as moonlight without uh, disturbing too much the tank with too much light. Um, how do I have them set up here? Um, well, my original idea was to have some kind of contraption that would have the two fixtures attached and would move them and curve them over the tank through the, year, through the day to make them simulate the sun moving over the reef. Um, I was really on the fence of going ahead with the idea um, which would require me to use something like um, one of those time lapses contraptions that they use for photography and adapting it but it would look really ugly on top of the tank and it would be one more point of failure um, to add to the whole equipment. So uh, I ended up going for this solution, which has the tilted uh, fixtures on each side. And so they come in and, um, they come in and fade off at uh, different rates to simulate the sun getting stronger on one part and then um, end up on the other side of the tank. And I also, because I also had the max spec around, I ended up using the max spec a bit higher uh, as a fill light, like it was, like people use now the, uh, the hybrid uh, lights, which are T5s together with the, the LEDs. I used the max spec as a T5 because the max spec is high enough, has 120 degree lenses, and it's in the middle with three light sources and gives a more diffuse um, uh, light to the whole tank because it's higher and it has a wider lenses. Um, that being said, I love the color that these, uh, these uh, angel LEDs provide. Um, according to what I've seen, they're not as hard as the Castle AP700. They are a bit softer lights. Um, and uh, the reason being, I think, that this addition of diffuse lighting, um, not only around the main lights, but the, the bar in the middle. Um, I think it's very strange that these lights go so much under the radar. It's very hard to find reviews about them and that's the reason I'm doing it. Of course, this is not a sponsored video. Uh, I paid for these two lights, and um, but the truth is I'm very happy with them, and I think uh, they should be considered more often as an excellent solution for lighting reef tanks. Once again, thanks for watching.